So far on Amazing World Wonders here on FTD Facts, we've learned about Sweden's adaptive camo that can make tanks invisible to infrared, smart bullets that can move and follow targets, and electromagnetic railguns and nuclear weapons. But today, we look at another marvel that most of us might take for granted, and that is satellites. Satellites are indeed something that you and I just don't think about every single day, and if they were to all go immediately, there would be major changes on the planet Earth. Of course, we would still have things like the internet, but there would be some major changes. Welcome to FTD Facts, more specifically welcome to our series called Amazing World Wonders. My name is Dave Wapple, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. Now, before I get into this episode, I always gotta ask you guys, and that is gonna be the poll up there, are satellites classified as an amazing world wonder? Let's find out. So what is a satellite? Very good question, good one to start off with, and well, to be perfectly honest, by definition, a satellite is simply any object that is put into orbit that's usually around a celestial object. For example, the moon is a satellite of Earth, and Earth is a satellite of the sun, and a sun is somewhat a satellite that orbits the Milky Way galaxy. And when it comes to the Milky Way, I'm not even going to get into what it orbits because that's getting way too far out there. But for most of us human beings on Earth, we generally probably, you and me, we probably identify a satellite as a technological piece of hardware that is put up in the sky that can help transmit photos, information, whatever to any place in the world by bouncing these signals off one another. Now, for those who don't know, the very first satellite was actually achieved by Russia on October 4th, 1957. This was simply known as Sputnik 1. And believe it or not, it was only up in space for about three weeks until the battery died on October 26th of that same year. And then by January 4th of 1958, it came back down into the atmosphere, burning up after completing 1,440 trips around the Earth. Since then, there have been at least 40 countries that have put some form of satellite up into space, which equals a total of 8,100 that have been launched in history. And as of 2018, they have somewhat of an accurate figure stating that there's approximately 4,900 of them that are still up there. However, 1,900 of them are the only ones that are actually working and useful in today's world. Now, the one thing that's really interesting about satellites is we always think of them kind of in a same sort of area. As a matter of fact, they have different distances from the Earth, depending on the type of satellite it is. Two of the most common ones are the ones that are in low orbit and the ones that are in a geosynchronous orbit, known as the Clark Belt. There are also medium-ranged ones, but there are not many in this location. As a matter of fact, most of the GPS satellites are farther out, orbiting Earth twice a day. Now, satellites generally have a lifespan of around three to four years, give or take, in which when they finish their lifespan, they are either re-entering the Earth and burnt up, or they simply stay where they are, or the third option is that they are moved to what is known as the satellite graveyard. Recently, the FCC had made it a mandatory law in 2012 that all geosynchronous type satellites must move to the graveyard orbit. And I'm not really a science guy, let's be real, but I can tell you the graveyard orbit is way out there. And if you want to put a satellite up, you actually have to have the fuel to move it out further. Now, one of the newest forms of satellites that's in talks right now and is, I believe, starting is called the Mega Constellation Satellite System. What it is, is a bunch of connected satellites to give low latency broadband to companies everywhere in the world. The plan currently is to have 18,000 of these satellites in low orbit by the year 2025, which is way more than any amount of satellites we've ever had in history. The companies behind this are SpaceX, OneWeb, Samsung, Boeing, and China's government, which have been in development since 2014. Now, have you ever heard of Vanguard 1? Now, this is a very famous satellite. It is actually the fourth satellite in human history, but was the first satellite to have solar power. Now, it launched on March 17, 1958, and although connection was lost in 1964, along with its second stage rocket, it is the oldest object that is still currently in the sky. It's been up there for a while, it's really insane. And even though some of these satellites are dead, countries like China, Russia, and even the United States and India have used these dead satellites as tests for their ICBMs. As well, you may be wondering what is the largest satellite that mankind has made? Well, that would be the International Space Station. 
That's right. Also, for the satellite that is the farthest out, this would theoretically be Juno. This one currently has a polar orbit around Jupiter, and it was launched on August 5th, 2011. And a few years later, by July 5th, 2016, it was put into orbit around Jupiter. Currently, there is plans to have it orbit Jupiter 37 times until July 30th, 2021, when it will end its mission and eventually burn up in the atmosphere of the planet. Other interesting factor about satellites, did you know that they are more fuel efficient than a car? As a matter of fact, they can even travel as fast as 18,000 miles, and some can travel the Earth 14 times in one day. And to give you an idea of how much data is transmitting through all of these satellites, if you were to stack a bunch of DVDs on top of one another, the stack would be four times larger than the Empire State Building. And because of their sheer importance in communication, data transmission, and the fact they can help us learn more about our Earth, ourselves, and even the unknowns of the universe of other planets, the satellite should therefore be inducted as an amazing world wonder. So there you go, guys. That is it. That is me giving you some facts about satellites. Hope you guys really like this episode. But other than that, my name is Dave Wapple. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. If you guys like this stuff, be sure to check out our playlist and like this video. Subscribe to FTD Facts, all that sort of stuff. And if you guys are just into gaming or anything like that, I also do have my other own channel, which I'll put it down in the description box below, which you guys can check out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. So you just watched Amazing World Wonders episodes on satellites. Did you miss our ones before where we talked about nukes and all these amazing other pieces of technology? Well, be sure to check out this playlist right here and stay up to date.